Non-conference hoops continues on the banks. Jersey Mike's Arena, the site of this Friday night battle between Rutgers and Harvard. The story for Rutgers coming into this, they come out of their first loss of the season looking to bounce back from some adversity. Absolutely, you know how to prove that you're great. You have to go through a little bit of adversity. So drop the first loss of the season, but hopefully they can bounce back tonight. Life is about obstacles and there's going to be plenty of obstacles that we're going to have along the way this season, uh, let alone tonight. Morris feeding Awa Sadibe, and Rutgers gets on the board. Glacia Petrie, one-on-one, -on -one, lays it in. Petrie off the catch, dumps it down for Sadibe, finishing through the contact, and one. Lassiter stepping in for two more. Here is Awa Sidibe running coast to coast. Two more points for the junior. Downstairs for Brown, working on Mullaney. Brown hanging and hitting. Brown saves it for Morris. Acrobatics there from Rutgers. Every time Rutgers scores, Harvard's been able to come up with something. And a baseball pass forward for Sussman and two more points for Harvard. Dialing it up from deep and she finds the first Harvard three of the evening. Harvard been doing a better job this game of taking care of the basketball there, just not seeing where you are on the floor, and great job by. Now Mason could not get it off in time. A thunderous end to the third quarter for Harvard. It's the Crimson in front by 18 as we head to the fourth. I don't really think, when we got down by 18, I don't really think we like let it bother us. We just stayed together. We didn't fight, we encouraged each other, and we said this game isn't over and we're not losing it. It's the spirit of Rutgers basketball, to never give up, um, to always play, and be able to face adversity uh, and look it head on and then decide that you want to you wanna do something about it. And team on three, one, two, three. Rutgers the other way after the two missed free throws, and Marshall wiggles it in. The Brown triple teamed at one point. Good kick out for Lassiter and a much needed triple. Petrie hoists and hits from three. More so than they could last game. Lassiter wide open. It's a three. Rutgers within six. Petrie, she'll try it. And she hits it. And it is a one possession game for Rutgers. Timer at eight. Jalen Mason gets to the free throw line and hits it. Petrie off the screen. The head fake in the layup. Petrie with Morris in the game here too. Mason pulls up and connects with a shot clock at one. Shot clock off, a chance to tie. Mason. Morris. Brown. And now Petrie. Petrie pulls up and connects. It's a tie ball game. Nine seconds. Harvard has a timeout. They don't use it. Five seconds. Forbes pulls it off the back of the rim. One second. Sussman doesn't get it off in time. And we're going to overtime. A miraculous second half comeback just to get this to overtime. Glacia Petrie, the hero as of now. Morris gathers into the lane and lays it in. Rutgers by two and poked away. Scarlet Knights wreaking havoc on both ends. Hit for Brown. New number, same results. And one. Driving. Mullaney blocked by Petrie. Rutgers ball. Lassiter's got it. Finds Sussman. Step back, blocked. Pinball's out. A three pointer, no good. Fight for the rebound. Stritzel can't find it. Three seconds. A heave. It's short. Ball game over. Rutgers wins. And I think that that gives me excitement for, you know, this year and 
we got some fight in us, and we do it for each other. So. Some dogs, not no yeah. puppies. Some dogs. Some dogs. No puppies, you some dogs. <laughs> Thanks so much.